Ladies and gentlemen, for your kind attention, the chief guest of the day has arrived along with all the council invitees. They are being received by the school officials. The Scouts of IISJ forms the guard of honor for our chief guest as per the protocol. 26th January, a day when India witnessed a remarkable display of idealism and courage. The day for all of us to celebrate and honor our nation and our sovereignty. The day to remember with gratitude the enormous efforts and sacrifices of millions of freedom fighters whose blood and sweat gave us the independence and created our republic. A republic is its people. They are the ultimate stakeholders. We the people gave ourselves the constitution and we the people are the custodians and upholders of its principles. This is the occasion to reaffirm our commitment to liberty, fraternity and equality across our society and among all the fellow Indians. And above all, this is the occasion to celebrate India and the spirit of being an Indian. Honorable Chief Guest, His Excellency, the Consul General of India, Shri Muhammad Noor Rahman Sheikh, Srimati Dr. Nazneen Rahman Sheikh, Esteemed School Observer, Mr. Sahil Sharma, Mrs. Nirupam Sharma, Respected Director of Foreign School, Ministry of Education, Muhammad, Mr. Sahil Ramdi, Member of Higher Board, Mr. Mahdul Ghafoor Danish, Madam Farida Banu Danish, Chairman of School Managing Committee, Mr. Ghazanfar Alam, Madam Farhat Parveen, Mr. Balkharam, Members of School Managing Committee, Distinguished guests, school officials, representatives from the media, parents, staff and dear students, wishing you all Happy Republic Day 2020. Being a republic nation, we have freedom in mind, faith in words, pride in our heart and memories in our soul. So let's salute the nation and begin the celebration of the 71st anniversary of Indian Republic. Where flowers bloom, so does hope. Flowers are the bounty of nature which express both humility and tenderness of human emotions. They symbolize happiness, abundance, and prosperity. To reflect our warmth and welcome, bouquets will be presented to our distinguished dignitaries. I humbly request our esteemed chief guest, His Excellency, Consul General of India, Sri Muhammad Noor Rahman Sheikh, to receive a bouquet from Master Ammar Hassan Sayyid as an expression of gratitude and reverence. Sir, we are immensely honored by your gracious presence. Your aura has lent a unique charm to the occasion. Miss Sayyida Aliza will present a bouquet to Srimati Nazneen Rahman as a symbol of affection and respect. We extend a warm welcome to you, ma'am. A bouquet will be presented to the school observer, Mr. Sahil Sharma, by Master Mishael Siddiqui. Sir, we are deeply honored by your gracious presence. I request Madam Nirupam Sharma to accept bouquet from Ms. Rida Khan as a reflection of our warmth and welcome. It's our pleasure to extend a hearty welcome to you, ma'am. I request the Director of Foreign Schools, Ministry of Education, Mr. Mohammad Saleh Al Ghamdi, to accept a bouquet from Master Isa Moin Sheikh. We extend a gracious welcome to you, sir. I request Member Higher Board, Mr. Abdul Ghafoor Danish, to receive a bouquet from Ms. Sayada Aliza as a token of respect. 
we extend a gracious welcome to you sir master isa moin sheikh will present a bouquet to madam farida banu danish as an expression of gratitude ma'am we are truly delighted to welcome you here today a bouquet will be presented to the chairman of the school managing committee mr mohammad ghazan far alam by master ammar hasan sayed Ms. Rida Khan will present a bouquet to Madam Farhat Parveen. I request Mr. Balkharam to accept a bouquet from Master Mishael Siddiqui. I also take this opportunity to accord a warm and cordial welcome to everyone present here today. We all are indeed delighted and privileged by your presence on this solemn occasion. A bouquet will be presented to the esteemed guest Consul Hajj. I request Mr. Alim to accept a bouquet. from Sayyida Aliza I request I request Madam Maryam to accept a bouquet Scout and guard Attention It's time now for unfurling of the national flag. May I request our chief guest His Excellency the Consul General of India to hoist the national flag. I request the audience to kindly stand for the flag hoisting which will be followed by the national anthem. the audience to be seated the tricolor flutters in majesty the symbol of national pride identity and connectivity that we all share as an indian tu shaheen hai parwaaz hai kaam tera tere samne aasmaan aur bhi hai pigeons have been used as a symbol of peace harmony and freedom for centuries their resilience and devotion are an inspiration to us to aim higher and reach our goals even in the face of adversity may i request our honorable chief guest his excellency consul general of india shri mohammad nur rahman sheikh to release the pigeons scout and guard senators
the pigeons have been released soaring high symbolizing progress and vibrant hope of students their flight motivates us to be persistent and rise with dreams and aspirations scouting rises within you and inspires you to put forth your best the bharat scouts and guides is the national scouting and guiding association of india which is a voluntary non political and educational movement for young students open to all without distinction of origin or creed in accordance with the purpose principles and methods conceived by its founder lord baden powell ladies and gentlemen get ready to witness the spectacular march past on the majestic ground of iisj by the scouts and guides of 9 to 12 and 6 to 8 block and cups and bulbuls of 3 to 5 block scouting guard attention scouting guard right turn scouting guard ball to left forward march So here we have the scouts contingent smartly dressed in their uniform with their chin up and chest high matching steps with each other upholding their motto be prepared which means a scout is always in a state of readiness in mind and body to do his duty scouting prepares students to become productive citizens and strong leaders builds their confidence and self esteem it fosters personality development and helps students imbibe a social responsibility and be in forefront during critical times these students believe that the most worthwhile thing is to try to put happiness into the lives of others the synchronized swing of arms and the sound of thudding feet is definitely going to stir patriotic fervor within us the contingent moving forward with unity at the thundering beats of the school band resonating on the ground i request our chief guest his excellency consul general of india shri mohammad nur rahman sheikh to acknowledge the salute of the contingents from the saluting dais Dear audience Put your hands together to welcome the 9 to 12 scouts contingent led by master Arhan Rashid They are indeed displaying a sense of dignity and pride marching with precision and perfect coordination A thunderous round of applause for 6 to 8 scouts contingent led by master Ashik Saji
these scouts and guides have completed various levels of scouting program and will proceed for Rajya Puraskar award testing camp very soon. Following the scouts, please welcome the 9 to 12 guys contingent led by Miss Neha Sara. Here comes the 6 to 8 guides contingent led, led by Miss Maria Firasid holding the plug card. They are the daughters of India, future of the nation in whom lie the energy, hopes and dreams of our republic. Next we have the Cubs contingent of 3 to 5 block which is the first leap in the journey towards scouting. Dear audience, let's hear it for the Cubs contingent being led by Master Mohammed Shayal. Please welcome the 3 to 5 Bulbuls contingent, smartly attired in the uniform, led by Miss Ifra Fatima. Thank you, sir. Character building, instilling self-discipline and thoughtfulness for others are the major focus of activities designed for this group. With their motto, do your best, Cub Scouts always do their best, think of others before themselves and do a good turn every day. Very soon, they will attend the Golden Arrow Testing Camp and they will be awarded the Golden Arrow. Scouts and Guides program equips our children with both physical and cognitive development and it begins with the early age of childhood. It's truly mesmerizing and feast to the eyes and ears to witness the perfect coordination of the teams coupled with a marching beat. Confident and smart, Scouts and Guides, Cubs and Bulbuls of IISJ marching in perfect unison, upholding the values of communal harmony, brotherhood and fraternity, which are the hallmarks of our rich heritage. Tu ur befikar ur, teri uran hi dunia ko badlegi. IISJ feels proud of its scouts and guides, its cubs and bulbuls for upholding the institutional values and honor. Dear audience, the success of the March past goes to the school band which kept us mesmerized with a marching beat. The school band comprising of 6 to 10 boys, well trained by PT Sir, Mr. Nadeem Farooqi. Give a round of applause to the school band and the marching contingents. These scouts and guides get full flesh training under the supervision of scouts master, guides captains, cup masters and flock leaders. Dear 
audience kindly applause to motivate them and bless them to be the future leaders of india of our dreams scouting guard left turn scouting guard left and right turn a thunderous round of applause is truly deserving for the physical education department of iist for this impressive march past A round of applause to all the scout masters, the guide captains, the cub masters, and the flock leaders for training these little kids. Ladies and gentlemen put your hands together and welcome the junior most wing of Bharat Scouts and Guides the bunny contingent of 1 and 2 block The bunny program is a part of the Scouts and Guides program for children between the age group of 3 and 6 years the cute bunny contingent of 1 and 2 girls section wearing their pink apron with a bunny symbol and a smiley badge waving cheerfully with their motto keep smiling let's hear it for the bunny contingent of 1 and 2 girls currently we have 356 registered bunny girls out of which we can witness 100 bunnies walking gracefully in front of us following the bunny girls are the bunny boys from 1 and 2 block a huge round of applause for the bunny contingent of 1 and 2 boys presently we have 290 students registered as bunnies and here we have in front of us 199 bunnies parading smartly in their bunny apron remain with joy and enthusiasm as they walk by us abiding by their promise i shall always try to be a good boy or girl insaaf ki dagar pe bachcho dikhao chal ke ye desh hai tumhara neta tum hi ho kal ke the bunnies feel proud to be an indian be happy and spread happiness around you as happiness unites us request the chief guest the honorable consul general of india to read out the president's message on the 71st republic day 2020 
Dear fellow citizens, on the eve of our 71st Republic Day, I extend my warm greetings to all of you in India and abroad. Seven decades ago, on 26th January, our constitution came into effect. Even before that, this date had acquired special significance, having resolved to attain Purna Swaraj, our people had been celebrating Purna Swaraj Day on every 26th January from 1930 to 1947. That is why in 1950 we embarked our journey as a republic on the 26th January, affirming to the principles laid down in our constitution. Since then, every year we celebrate our Republic Day on 26th January. The modern state comprises the three organs, legislature, executive, and judiciary, which are necessarily interlinked and interdependent. Yet on ground, the people comprise the state. We, the people, are the prime movers of the Republic. With us, the people of India rest the real power to decide our collective future. Our constitution gave us rights as citizens of a free democratic nation, but also placed on us the responsibility to always adhere to the central tenets of our democracy, justice, liberty, and fraternity. It becomes easier for us to follow these constitutional ideals if we keep in mind the life and values of the father of our nation. By doing so, we will be adding a meaningful dimension to our celebrations of 150th birth anniversary of Gandhiji. Dear fellow citizens, the government has launched a number of welfare campaigns and what is especially not about them is the fact that citizens have voluntarily turned them into popular movements. The Swachh Bharat Avyan has achieved outstanding success in such a short time. The same spirit can be seen in other endeavors, be it giving up cooking fuel subsidy or pushing digital payments. The common man has met the government programs his own, making them true effective. The success of the Pradhan Mantri Uzbala Jojana is a matter of right as the target of 8 crore beneficiaries has been achieved. With this, those in need have access to it. The Pradhan Mantri Sahaj Bijli Har Ghar Yojana, that is Saubhagya 2, has changed people's lives. Under Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi, more than 14 crore Farmer families have become entitled to receive minimum annual income of 1,000. This has enabled the farmers who feed us to live a life of dignity. To effectively meet the challenge of the increasing water crisis, the Ministry of Justice has been created. Water conservation and water management are being given top priority. I am confident that, like Swachh Bharat Avyan, Jal Jeevan Mission too will take the form of a popular movement. Along with the welfare of those most in need, every policy initiative of the government is guided by the nation first principle. The role of the GST has realized our vision of one country, one tax, one market. It is being complemented by the e nam scheme, which is strengthening the process of creating one market for one nation and will benefit farmers. It's a consistent effort by the government to ensure overall development of each and every part of the country, be it Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh, the states in the northeast or our islands in the Indian Ocean. Strong internal security is essential for the development of the country. Therefore, the government has taken several concrete steps to strengthen the internal security system. Access to health and education are often considered the foundation of good governance. 
in both these sectors we have come a long way in the seven decades the government has rightly focused its attention to the health sector with its ambitious initiatives starting with the pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana and expanding to the ayushman bharat which is the world's largest publicly funded universal healthcare program the government has shown its care and concern for the well-being of the poor quality of healthcare has improved so has its reach the jan aushadi yojana has brought down the healthcare budget of common people in the country by providing quality generic medicines at affordable prices dear fellow citizens the foundations of a sound education system were built in ancient times with the setting up of great universities like nalanda and takshashila in india knowledge has always been considered more valuable than power fame or riches in our tradition educational institutions are respected as temples of learning when our land was pushed into backwardness after the long colonial rule it was education that emerge as a path to empowerment even though the development of our educational institutions commences soon after independence in an moment of scarcity of resources our achievements in the field of education have followed a remarkable trajectory our endeavor is to ensure that no child or youth is denied education at the same time we need to strive to reach global education standards by continuous reform of our educational systems india is proud of the achievements of ashro they are making further progress in mission gaganyaan and the nation excitedly looks forward to the indian human space flight program gaining further momentum this year this is also the year of tokyo olympics while india has traditionally done well in a number of sports the new generation of players and athletes has brought laurels for the nation in more and more varieties of sports in recent years at olympics 2020 the indian contingent will be backed by cheers and good wishes of millions of indians another source of pride for our country has been our diaspora during my visits abroad i have observed that nations have not only brought prosperity to their adopted lands they have also enhanced india's image before the world community many of them have made great contributions in a wide variety of endeavors dear fellow citizens i have nothing but unreserved praise for our armed forces paramilitary and internal security forces their sacrifices to preserve the integrity and unity of our country present a saga of unparalleled courage and discipline our farmers doctors and nurses teachers who impart learning and values scientists and engineers alert and active youth industrious members of our workforce entrepreneurs contributing to our economic wealth artists who enrich our culture service sector professionals who have earned global appreciation our fellow countrymen contributing in many other spheres of activity and especially our resilient daughters who have scaled new heights of achievements against odds they all bring pride to our nation earlier this month i had the opportunity to interact with some achievers who have done commendable work in various fields working silently they have made immense contribution to various fields including science and innovation sports empowerment of divyang persons 
farming and afforestation, women and child empowerment, education, healthcare, revival of art forms, and providing food and nutrition to the needy. For example, Shushri Arifa Jan has revived the Namdha handicrafts in Jammu and Kashmir. Shushri Ratnavali Kotapali has been serving patients suffering from thalassemia in Telangana. Shrimati Devaki Amma has developed forest wealth through her individual efforts in Kerala. Shri Jamkhozam Mishao has improved the lives of many people through his community development efforts in Manipur and Sri Babur Ali has been providing education to underprivileged children in West Bengal since his childhood. There are numerous such examples. I have mentioned only a few of them. They exemplify that ordinary people can make extraordinary contributions. There are a large number of voluntary organizations too who have been contributing to the project of nation building and complementing the initiatives of government. Fellow citizens, we are now in the third decade of the 21st century. This will be the decade of the rise of new India and a new generation of Indians. More and more of those born in this century are participating in the national discourse. With the passage of time, we are gradually losing living links with our great freedom struggle, but there is no reason to worry about the continuity of the beliefs that guided it. With advances in technology, the young minds of today better informed and more confident. The next generation remains strongly committed to the core values of our nation. For our youth, the nation always comes first. With them, we are witnessing the emergence of a new India. Mahatma Gandhi's ideals remain in our nation-building efforts. It should be part of our daily routine to introspect on Gandhiji's of truth and non-violence, which has become all the more necessary in our times. When fighting for a cause, people, particularly the youth, should not forget the gift of Ahimsa Gandhiji gave to humanity. Gandhiji's talisman for deciding whether an act is right or wrong also applies to the functioning of our democracy. Government and opposition both have important roles to play while giving expression to their political ideas, both must move forward in tandem to ensure that development of the country and welfare of its people are promoted consistently. Dear fellow citizens, it's our Republic Day celebration of our constitution. Let me conclude with the words of its chief architect, Baba Sahab Ambedkar. I quote, if we wish to maintain democracy, not merely in form, but also in fact, what must we do? The first thing in my judgment we must do is to hold fast to constitutional methods of achieving our social and economic objectives." Unquote. These words have always lighted our path. These words will continue to show us the way ahead to new glories. Dear citizens, the idea of world as a large, well-knit family captured in our message of Vasudeva Kutumbakam strengthens our relations with other nations. We have been sharing our democratic ideals and the fruits of our development with the entire world. 
we have a tradition of inviting foreign heads of states to participate in our Republic Day celebrations. I am glad that this year our distinguished friend, the President of Brazil, Mr. Bolsonaro, will take part in our Republic Day function. As India and Indians march forward, we remain committed to engaging the global community to build a secure and prosperous future for ourselves and for the entire humanity. I once again convey my Republic Day greetings to all of you and I extend my best wishes for your bright future. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. Music connects and unites people of different cultural backgrounds. It provides a reflection of our identity and values. And when we combine music with national identity, we get patriotic songs which showcase our love and respect towards our motherland. Let's welcome the girls of 628 Block presenting a patriotic medley.
a magical performance just exceptional and uplifting well done girls these girls were trained by mrs bindu udayan they truly deserve a huge round of applause india a land of rich cultural heritage diversity colors festivities passion and celebration and to put all these into perspective we have our little angels of one and two girls section coming forward to enthrall us with their performance tiranga a medley of patriotic songs and dance <laughs> देश हबीब जवानों का अलबेलों का मस्तानों का इस देश का यारों इस देश का यारों क्या कहना ये देश है दुनिया का गहना righteousness progress and perpetuity it signifies that there is life in movement every color of our flag signifies an important part of our history tradition vision and culture hum hindustani hum hindustani चांद के दर पे जा पहुंचा है आज जमाना द वाइट कलर इन आवर फ्लैग सिंबलाइजेस ट्रूथ ऑनेस्टी एंड पीस नया खून है नई मंगे दैट जो है नई कहानी हम हिंदुस्तानी द अशोक चक्र इन मेरी ब्लू के रिप्रेजेंट द इटर्नल ऑफ गॉड सिंबलाइजिंग ब्रेवली एंड डिटरमिनेशन के मिलकर नई कहानी हर जल्ला है मोती आंख उठा कर देखो माटी में सोना है हाथ बढ़ा कर देखो सोने की ये गंगा है चांदी की यमुना चाहो तो पत्थर से धान उदा कर देखो नया खून है नई उमंगे अब है नई जवानी हम हिंदुस्तानी हम हिंदुस्तानी
from the third chakra, representing the green band of the flag. This symbolizes fertility, growth and prosperity of the land. Their performance is a tribute to the Indian farmers. A farmer truly represents India. Today we thank and salute our farmers for providing us with the most basic necessity, food. <laughs> Love for our motherland runs deep in our blood. We are indeed proud citizens of this great nation. Away from our homeland, we pledge to always uphold our country's honor. These girls sway in united to show that indeed unity is strength. Love for one's nation is of utmost importance. The symbol of our freedom, it is the very soul of India, which has always been an epitome of unity and diversity. Let's rekindle the spirit of nationalism by choosing the path of striving to uphold the dignity of the Tiranga. ये बात हवाओं को बताए रखना, रोशनी होगी चिरागों को जगाए रखना। लम्बेकर जिस चीज़ पासर हमने किए से इस तिरंगे को सदा दिखने बसाए रखना। हिंदुस्तानी नाम हमारा है, सबसे प्यार देश हमारा है।
Well done boys, what a feast of music in this wonderful setting. It was indeed melodious, spreading the message of national unity and integrity. These boys were trained by Mrs. Jayashree and Mrs. Kamini. The beauty of a rainbow goes beyond the reds and blues, a symbol of diversity and the many paths we choose. The power of a rainbow is the connection that it makes, spanning the horizon, sunshine in all that it takes. Ladies and gentlemen, with a thundering round of applause, please welcome the girls of 325 Block, presenting to you the Rainbow Religious Flame. towards the center of the school ground to charge the audience with a zealous performance. Attired in the colors of rainbow, these 140 girls are here to cheer and celebrate the symbolic and significant day. performing physical movements with hands holding ribbons of different colors of rainbow are bouncing with enthusiasm and bubbling with excitement. These physical movements help to channelize the energy and potential of these young girls. and swaying with the rhythm of the fast music in the perfect coordination and splendor is a visual treat for all. How beautiful do they look in their vibrant colors of rainbow adding charm and magnificence on the day of celebration. and shaking their hands to create the waves of all the colorful ribbons with perfect coordination. We be proud of precious pearls. They are our ray of hope, our ray of light, spreading colors and making our world bright.
interesting in their own way, but every color of rainbow when blend together add a beauty in the sky. play an important role in our life. Different colors symbolizes a collage of different cultures of India. They have regrouped for another formation, opening and closing of flowers. Flowers are a mark of peace and tranquility. Here they move with full excitement and display togetherness and unity. to form forming arcs of seven colors of rainbow. The movement of these sparkling gems with fusion of rhythm and symmetry smell bound. They add up the zeal of the already charged up atmosphere of IISJ. They are now assembling to go for another formation displaying discipline and team spirit. Violet symbolizing spirit of togetherness. Indigo, the color of harmony. Here comes the green symbolizing the beauty of nature. The blue symbolizes calmness, honesty, and devotion. Yellow, the color of sunshine. Orange stimulates creativity and enthusiasm. Red, the color of determination and passion. Untied. 
inspiring effort of three to five girl section teachers. Mrs. Humaira, Mrs. Samna, Mrs. Tanveer, Mrs. Dhania, Mrs. Hafsara, Mrs. Lubna, Mrs. Habira, Mrs. Hajra, Mrs. Shanti, Mrs. Bharti, and the props courtesy to Mrs. Zenat and Mrs. Yamuna. Let's welcome the six, the six to eight boys who are going to enthrall us with impeccable stunts and martial arts. Physical education is an integral part of school curriculum. At IISJ, physical education is given at most priority along with academics, which provides a positive influence in the student's personality, character and self-esteem. Effortlessly controlling their bodies, forming a towering human pyramid, these young students exhibit athletic prowess at its best. A willingness to climb up on others at the risk of falling. An impressive feat involving precision and balancing skills. of agility, balance, and motor coordination. Portraying endurance, commitment, and hard work. A burst of applause for the skill and technique demonstrated by these performers. Now put your hands together for these boys who are going to astound us with a dynamic performance showcasing their skills in Karate. Karate, a traditional Asian self-defense or combat sport portraying physical skills and coordination.
variety of moves with stepping and turning while attempting to maintain perfect form. To their opponent, the tower proceeded and concluded with a bow. Here they come once again, led by Master Ali Hassan, to fascinate us with one more martial art form. to master Nuncha. That's what makes it an art. Strikes, catches and swings showcasing a brilliant mastery of hand-eye coordination. Definitely portraying a great sense of timing, sharp reflexes and whole body coordination.
Master Ali Hussam attempting to break a tower of tiles. The boys come once again, forming a towering human pyramid. under the able guidance of Mr. Amiruddin. The spirit of patriotism is important for understanding the true value of freedom. Dear audience, put your hands together for the school choir from 9 to 12 boys section.
before you a visual extravaganza by 6 to 8 girls section hindustan meri jaan a glimpse through the saga of indian independence struggle and a spectrum of the unity and diversity depicted through the blend of the culture and traditions से है प्यार तो हर पल ये कहना चाहिए मैं रहू या ना रहू भारत ये रहना चाहिए से है प्यार तो हर पल ये कहना चाहिए मैं रहू या ना रहू भारत ये रहना चाहिए सिलसिला ये बाद मेरी यूं ही चलना चाहिए रहू या ना रहू भारत ये रहना चाहिए
Some years ago, we made a trip with destiny, and now the time comes when we shall redeem our trip, not only or in full measure, but very substantially. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. Desh Hamara Hai constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular dr b r ambedkar democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens pandit jawaharlal nehru social economic and political sardar vallabhbhai patel thought expression belief faith and worship equality dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan end of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity abul kalam azad during the dignity of the individual and si raja gopal acharya integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly asif ali 6th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt in act shama prasad mukherjee ourselves this constitution विजय लक्ष्मी पांडेट सरोजनी नायडू द वाइब्रेंट इंडिया द डाइवर्स कल्चर एंड ट्रेडिशन प्रेजेंटिंग बिफोर यू अ फाइन ब्लेंड ऑफ व्यूज एंड साउंड स्कैटर फ्रॉम द नॉर्थ टू द साउथ ईस्ट टू द वेस्ट यूनाइटेड वी स्टैंड डिस्पाइट ऑल द डाइवर्सिटीज टू बिल्ड अप अ स्ट्रॉन्ग नेशन
unity and integrity of the nation, irrespective of region, religion, caste, language and culture. This magnificent performance, Hindustan Mary Chan concept, visualized by Mrs. Bindu, Mrs. Reshmi, Mrs. Emmy, coordinated by Mrs. Archana, props courtesy, Mrs. Shahzad and Mrs. Babita, IG support by Mrs. Ramsina, framers of constitution, trained by Mrs. Ishrat, language representatives, costume by Mrs. Language and Mrs. Shakila and Mrs. Tehmina, supported by the staff of 628 Girls, Mrs. Deepa, Mrs. Shiba, Mrs. Sariha, Mrs. Anu, Mrs. Nima, Mrs. Lekha, Mrs. Shaima, Mrs. Sapna, Mrs. Ansia, Mrs. Banu, Mrs. Jasbira, Mrs. Sonia, Mrs. Mateen, Mrs. Smitha and Mrs. Shaibenath. Dil Hamara Ek Hai, Ek Hi Hai Hamari Jaan, Hindustan Hamara Hai, Hum Hai Iski Shaan, Jaan Luta Denge, Vatan Pe Ho Jayenge Khurban, Is Liye Hum Kehte Hai, Mera Bharat Mahan. With this, we come to an end of today's program. On this historic day, I wish to express a sincere gratitude to everyone for being the part of IISJ Family Republic Day celebrations. I, Mrs. Lubna Khobi, along with my co-host, Mrs. Saida Kashifa, wishing you all once again a very happy Republic Day. Jai Hind!